Well, let's clear something up first. This Hooked no Ken is not the Fist of the North Star game that was released in the US. That game is Hooked no Ken 2, the better version of this game. That's right, there's something worse than the NES Fist of the North Star. For those unfamiliar with it, Hooked no Ken was a long-running comic and cartoon from the mid-80s about the manliest martial artist in the world wandering a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Kenshiro takes out his enemies with lightning-fast punches and kicks, and he's best known for his catchphrase, which he tells his foes after he lands a pressure point blow that will make them explode within a few seconds. It was one of the earliest of the more mature Japanese comics to gain some awareness outside of Japan, though maturity is relative since it was published in Shonen Jump, whose target audience is about 10 to 12 year old boys. The game covers the first arc of the story. You punch and kick your way through five levels, and at the end of each stage is a boss. The bosses are Hart, Sheen, Jagi, Thouser, and Rao. Of course, I couldn't even get to Sheen since this is a game that's designed to hurt people. To play the game, A punches and B kicks. You can rapid fire those as well. This does mean you have to press up to jump. The goal on every stage is to make your way through a series of corridors to the boss. You'll find a lot of doors that you can enter on the way, and you go into them by holding down A and B and pressing up. Rin, the child who travels with Kenshiro, sometimes appears in the doorway to guide him. Or so you might think. She's misleading you part of the time. She doesn't appear at every door you can enter. She always appears in the doors for the correct path. But she also appears in other doors for no good reason. The screen only scrolls to the left, so you'll need to keep walking in that direction. And it does eventually loop back. Though if Rin has already appeared in a door, she doesn't reappear when the loop gets back to that point. And you probably will want to walk around in that loop for a little while. Your first goal is to power up Kenshiro, and unless you walk around in the loop, you can't do it. When Kenshiro punches someone enough, they stop, they throb a bit, and then they explode. After the uproar regarding shooting human characters in Frontline, I did some poking around to see if there were similar complaints at the time about Hokuto no Ken. As far as I can tell, no parental complaints. Maybe they just reserve that for guns instead of punching people until they explode. Keep an eye out for the red enemies. If you make them explode, then they shout Abeshi as they explode. Collecting the word that pops out gives you another star and powers up Kenshiro a little bit. The first star makes him jump high. You also get the ability to attack in the air to go with your higher leap. The second star makes it easier for his punches to explode people. The third star gives you an automatic triple kick. The fourth star gives you an automatic triple punch. The fifth star makes you move faster. The sixth star means that you can do your triple attack in the air. And when you get your seventh star, your clothes rip off because you are that manly. Also. Rin will stop showing you false pathways. Except on the last stage where she still shows you false pathways. Because this game hates you. So now that you can find the path to the boss, when you get there, they tend to kill you really fast. There are ways to kill them quickly based on how they died in the comic, though I didn't get it to work either. The best part is that once you do defeat the boss and start the next stage, you don't get your health back. You have three lives and have to clear all five stages with no continues, and the only way to recover health is to go to certain spots when your score is exactly right, and then the little dipper appears. You can use it to recover some health. The thing that makes Hakuto no Ken really unpleasant to play is the flood of unavoidable projectiles. It is possible to strike them away but I found it to be pretty finicky. 
And you have to have amazing reactions to even have a chance of avoiding some of these. So this is the Fist of the North Star game that we got in the US as the second game. Obviously there will be sequels. On the Famicom there will be four of them. Plus, Kenshiro appears in two more Famicom games. This is probably the worst of them, but that doesn't mean the other ones are good. Hokuto no Ken games have a long history of being terrible, and that history starts right here. I wouldn't play this one even out of masochism.